uh, data literacy? Um, well, it's important because that's, that's how th the universe works. It's a causal system of cause and effect. And you need to understand, to explain things in your life and to get ahead, you need to understand what the cause was and what the effect is and how they're connected. So you need to know what's a how question and what's a why question. You need to understand proportions. You need to understand st probabilities. What, what are the chances of this happening? Because there's so much variation around us and because there's so many things that are you know, thermodynamically jiggling about to create um, these ensemble systems that move, you know, like the gas in this room. Um, you have to be aware of that. You have to in some way have a respect for the randomness and sampling of things. And, pe and people don't, because people don't think about what randomness is. People don't think about the fact that when they, you know, they play the lotto, that, that n you know, one combination of numbers is, is no more or less likely than some other combination of numbers. But, but some seem to be strange because they trigger some pattern recognition in you. To understand things like health risks, to understand uh, economy, to be able to understand something like the, the deficit versus debt. D these are relatively technical terms. Um, I remember there was some, s some statement about when Obama for the first time mentioned the third derivative because he said something like the rate of inflation is slowing. <laughs> Um, and the rate of increase of inflation is slowing or something like this. And so there's a small number of people who would say, wow, that's a third derivative, that's pretty cool. And uh, who, else, who else understood that? But that's an important thing to understand, uh, that a, a deceleration and acceleration of, of physical objects or of processes is important to understand. And that's, 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 that's mathematics. Um, basic mathematics, relative ratios, you know, if something doubles my chance of a certain kind of disease, I may not care because if that chance is so low that now doubling a very small number is still a very small number. Um, but but people, people think, well, now it's serious because the chance is doubled. Or 10 times, you know, it's, the chance could be a thousand times higher and I still don't care. Um, but people aren't really, uh, skeptical enough about when quantities are um, communicated. Often these quantities are not precisely measurable. Um, things in cosmology are not precisely measurable. One day we might think something is a billion light years away, the next day we might think it's two because it, there is there's some error, you know, um, and you're off by just a billion light years. S uh, and, and so some people might say, well, science keeps changing its mind. Yeah, that's, that's one of those features. That's a good feature in it. Um, so data literacy, the collection of data as a process, the interpretation of data, it's a technical, it's a technical activity. Um, and, and most people, I think, um, Maybe it makes them uncomfortable because there's not a lot of room for certain opinions once you pay attention to those data. And you have to bend to the will of the universe that this is how things are. And now you have to accept it. You have to accept it and it, if you can understand it, but you definitely have to accept it. And the two are separate processes.